This is my 1986 Jeep Grand Wagoneer and today we'll be doing a compression test on her. This thing has the original AMC 360 V8 engine. She's 37 years old. She's got 110,000 miles on her and still going strong. But that being said, let's dive straight into this test. Here are today's ticket items I'll be using. Got this Pittsburgh compression test from Harbor Freight for around $30. And then I also got this. It tells you pretty much everything you could ever want to know about these Jeeps. And it does go over how to perform one of these compression tests. First thing I'm doing is blowing out the engine bay. So when I take the spark plugs out, hopefully there isn't any dirt that falls inside. So this was my first time doing one of these compression tests and the way i did it was i removed all the spark plugs and wires all at once instead of doing them one by one you can do them one by one however i thought it would be a little bit easier to do them all at the same time so as you can see here on screen i removed all the plugs all the wires and labeled each one of the wires here's how my dad and i kept track of the spark plugs we took a piece of cardboard and labeled it one through eight with four plugs being placed on each side of the cardboard. Seems like. And when you put this somewhere, you have to put it somewhere where it doesn't arc. Not bad for the first round. We got 140 PSI. So the first spark plug reading was 140 PSI. And we did that twice. So I believe that's a pretty good reading. Here is the gauge. Hook this little guy up to this hose. And then you screw the hose into each one of the openings down there where the spark plugs live at. So we're gonna do round two, see what it comes out to. And again, this was the last reading, so to reset this, press this button. So that Harbor Freight compression kit says in the instructions to press the gas pedal all the way down and then let it turn for eight revolutions. But some videos and other books say two to four. This one's saying eight. So I'm just gonna do it for a couple seconds and see what happens. That should be good. My dad went inside for a second, so Let's see what the reading is. A little over 120. Write that one down. Round two for number two. I wanted to share this in the video. This took me a while to figure out that the spark plugs are angled. Sometimes it was taking me a long time to install the hose for the kit because I didn't know that the spark plugs sat angled. So for future reference, just know that they're angled. <laughs> Overall, the Wagoneer did phenomenal. I am proud to say that she has successfully passed the test for a 37-year-old vehicle with 110,000 miles on it and it being an original engine. The results are impressive. The average reading was 130 PSI for all eight. That is spectacular. This thing is running strong. Not bad for an American Motors product. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for spending some time with me on this Wagoneer Wednesday video. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for a Wagoneer Wednesday video. Every Wednesday at 7 p.m., we dive deep into the 86 Grand Wagoneer. There's always something to do. I am way over my head, being completely honest with you with everything I've got to do to this thing. So make sure you subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching another one of these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a great day.